Well, gymnastics is a demanding sport that forces athletes to perform some very unique movements. But did you know those movements have made gymnastics a common treatment for young kids with neurophysical disorders? Joe Khalil's been working on a special report about a young girl named Abby Hahn who began gymnastics as a treatment for autism. And against all odds, she has taken her skills to the next level. And those are things that they brought over. A typical day for Abby Hahn is seemingly normal for a 12 year old girl. They were terribly homesick. They're she goes to school where she's an A student and before going home to spend the evening with her family, she goes to practice. There's two things we don't have to talk her into doing. One is going to school and two is going to gymnastics. Just by watching, you'd never know that to get to where she is today, Abby's had to overcome a lot more than the other girls on her team. When she was maybe a little younger than two, we started noticing that she wasn't developing appropriately. She wasn't officially diagnosed until she was three. Abby has autism. She really couldn't tell you what she wanted, even if it was something simple. It just appeared that she was this, that she was acting out and she was not being a, a nice little girl when she was probably really just frustrated. And as a parent, that's a really hard thing to deal with when you go places and people judge you or judge your child. Because she lacks certain physical and social skills, when Abby was six, a doctor suggested gymnastics. Initially, it kind of started out as part of her therapy. That was one thing that was recommended that maybe we start taking her there. She's been working with Michelle Cocan, a special needs gymnastics coach, ever since. Well, that's kind of how we got connected with Dr. Nassar. Her coach knew him. Larry Nassar was the doctor for the U.S. Olympic team, but he's not just an expert with bruises and sprained ankles. He's also done groundbreaking research on the effects of gymnastics on kids with autism. And was able to, to um, display the great characteristics that gymnastics can have on these kids with needs. Nassar's worked with special needs gymnasts, and he's seen results from gymnastics go well beyond the mat. Well, physically with balance, with proprioception, with strength, those skills helps to transfer over into her socializing skills too, working with coaches, eye contact, hearing and responding. The ripples of Nasser's work with autism treatment are felt worldwide. He started the Gymnastics Dr. Autism Foundation, leading research efforts and spreading awareness about his work. The first major thing that we did through Gymnastics Dr. Autism Foundation was fund the first international summit on special needs in gymnastics. And though his work is internationally recognized, his conviction for autism treatment begins right in his own home. We finally came to the conclusion, you know, there were some issues, and that was a hard time, you know, when, when my wife and I, because she was our first child. Dr. Nassar's own daughter, Caroline, is autistic. We used to have therapists come to the house and they would do things where they'd swing, like we'd have to swing her. We thought, hmm, this is very similar to what we do in the gym. And that got me thinking more and more, well, some of the therapies that we do with her is actually play in the gym. So I made her therapy play. That was the idea behind Abby's treatment. Okay. Most of the people thought she would stay a fun meet kid, which means you stay at a pretty low level and you um, would just do very safe skills. But Cocan quickly realized that autism or not, Abby had an elite talent. The thought process was, wait a minute, we see the talent and we can overcome the social issues, so let's let her go as far as she'll take herself. While her parents, coaches, and doctors could only guess the extent of Abby's potential, the one person who never doubted Abby's ability to excel was Abby herself. Yeah, I'm pushing myself to get better. I'm like a, on fire, like a tiger, like I'm gonna do, do my best. And it was that fire in Abby that allowed her to go beyond expectations. I was supposed to be in fun level four, but they put me up to competitive. If you tell her to do 10, she does 11. If you tell her you have to run for 15 minutes, she's gonna run for 16. The challenges autism poses are still there, but so far, Abby's been able to push through all of them. I've overcome my fear of doing the cartwheel on the beam. Like I say, I'm not scared, I'm gonna do it. And nothing stops you, you are gonna do it. Nothing stops me. She rises to every challenge we give her. Today, Abby is a level five gymnast on the verge of becoming a level six. So when Dr. Nassar hosted his Flip for Autism event to raise money and awareness for his foundation, it came as no surprise 
who the star of the night would be. As family looks on, Abby gets mentally prepared with tiger-like fierceness in her eyes. And she begins. A perfect landing, like Abby's done so many times before. I mean, we know firsthand that what a difference it's made for her. Abby's parents credit the gymnastics for taking Abby to a level they never expected, both on and off the mat. From where she started to where she is now, so here's a girl who couldn't say yes or no when she was little, and right. and now she's this big girl doing well in school. And yeah, yeah, she's very proud. Yeah, of we're definitely proud of what she's done. Yeah. Abby's been able to carry on like a typical 12-year-old girl, but her skills and her drive are anything but typical. When people question how a girl with autism can maneuver the vault or fly through the air like she does, Abby's response is simple. Yeah, when they see me doing flips, they're like, how do you do that? <laughs> and I'm like, practice and gymnastics. As simple as that. Incredible story. It's so Jill. inspiring. Fantastic. And, you know, just hearing her speak, it's almost like you would never know that she has autism. Yeah, you know, you can tell she's not very camera shy. And, uh, and a lot of that has to do with the gymnastics. You know, we went to her school, and uh, so we talked to some of her teachers and her counselors, and they said, you know, a couple years ago, she would not have been this comfortable with us even on camera. But mm -hmm. a lot of the gymnastics, she's been forced to socially interact with some of her peers and coaches, and, and that's really helped her. So you can see not only physically but but uh, socially as well it's, it's been it's been very good for oh, us. an right. example for other children yeah, too absolutely no doubt. all right absolutely thanks, thanks joe, joe.